uh, this is uh, like a personal testimony and a personal message. I hope, I hope it, uh, it will reach the uh, Mr. Duterte, the president of the Philippines now. Because uh, when I visited the Philippines the first time, uh, he was not, not yet in power. And uh, I saw a lot of corruption, a lot of uh, complaints, a lot of poverty, a lot of drugs. Uh, so uh, uh, it's it's the almost the same like uh, back in my uh, own place in, in Egypt, because we are suffering from uh, corruption and from drugs for more than 50 years. That's why the, the, uh, the country is always down. And uh, there is a lot of people in the Philippines also, they need the country they want the country to be stay down and not stand up uh, why because uh, it will ruin all their drug business and it will destroy all their thrones and uh, their bank accounts which is already full with millions and millions of pesos uh, and uh, that time when i went to the philippines i i wanted too bad uh, for the President Duterte to win the election and thank God he won the elections and became the president and uh, that's the kind of president any any people any anywhere in the world uh, they need their president to become like Mr. Duterte because if you become the president it's not a gift it's not a blessing it's a big responsibility and you have to be as much as responsible for each and every person in your country. But the people, most of the people all over the world, they, they think if you become the president, it's, it's like a gift. And it's a big chance for him or for her to get the most benefits from that position before it leaves the power. But since Mr. Duterte came to power, I saw that he's only concentrating, you know, on doing the right thing. Because if you fight drug dealers, it's not a bad thing because the drugs destroying the country from down to up. Because the main power of any country is the youth. So most of the drug users are youth, not the old people, the youth. So if you destroy the youth of any country, this country is useless. So very good and very good decision from Mr. Duterte to fight the drug dealers. I am 100% with him in this, uh, in, uh, not, not to negotiate or not to put them in jail, because if you put them in jail, they'll go out and they'll do also drugs and they'll start to deal again with drugs. This is not the solution. The solution is killing them on the spot once they prove that they are dealing with drugs and also applying the death penalty because if, 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 if you are not afraid from death, you will do whatever, you will rape, you will deal with drugs, you will kill. But once have something to be afraid of, like the death penalty, all, most of the criminals will think twice before they do bad things. So, I'm so proud that the president of the Philippines is Mr. Duterte. God bless him, and I hope God will give him the support and power to fight more the crime and the corruption until he terminate all of them and eliminate all his enemies who doesn't want the Philippines to become up because I believe if he succeed on his campaign, the Philippines will be the most powerful economy in the whole Southeast Asia. And I'm, I'll be, I'll, uh, before I'm not thinking to stay in the Philippines, <clears throat> but now after President Duterte, I'm coming inshallah next month to stay with my wife there in Elegant City. And I'm so proud that the president now is Mr. Duterte and I wish him all the best and I, I wish, I wish someone just uh, take my message to him or my testimony because really, really I, I wish I can meet him in person one day. Thank you very much.
Hi again. Uh, this is my uh, second message to uh, uh, the President, Mr. Duterte of the Philippines. Um, I just uh, saw the press conference uh, that he made and uh, I just uh, uh, very, very, I'm feeling very, very proud and happy uh, about answering the question of the journalist who asked him uh, what he will answer to uh, Mr. Obama of the United States and uh, <laughs> I really like the reaction of the President Duterte and uh, I really, really like uh, his answer because uh, this is a very, very uh, logical and very uh, good answer because uh, America is always saying that uh, they are the, the leader of, uh, leaders of democracy and leaders of human rights and they are the first p people who is uh, uh, not, not uh, uh, keeping the human rights or not taking care of uh, the, the uh, democracy. And uh, it's the, America is actually it's a double standard country. And uh, the, you see them killing people in Afghanistan and in Iraq and uh, putting their nose in uh, Syria and uh, Korea and everywhere. So everywhere America put her nose in this country, uh, definitely the country is not going doing well because of of the American interference. Uh, so a very very good, Mr. President Duterte, very good answer. And uh, if Obama doesn't like what you said, uh, it's his problem, not your problem. And this is uh, you don't have to answer uh, or uh, to to uh, reply to Obama because. You have to answer to the Philippines people only because they are the one who elected you. They are the one who's uh, your responsibility. Uh, and uh, let uh, Mr. Obama mind his own business. Uh, let him first take care of uh, the human rights in his own country because until now we are in 2016 and there is uh, racism everywhere in, the Amer in America. Uh, if you are a black uh, person, uh, you you are deal they deal with you, especially the police force, they deal with you uh, depending on your, the color of your skin and they uh, humiliate you and deal with you very bad just because you are black. So uh, Mr. Obama, don't talk to us and don't lecture us about human rights and about, uh, uh, about uh, democracy because uh, uh, you first have to apply it to yourself and to your country and then advise the other countries, other presidents uh, to follow your footsteps. Uh, but till then, uh, I hope you keep quiet and mind your own business only. Uh, keep up the good work, Mr. President Duterte, and I wish you uh, a very healthy and good life. And uh, may God protect you from all harm and from all your enemies and uh, give you victory and... Um, give you what you wish for for your own country because I'm hundred per, one million percent sure that you wish the best for your own country for the Philippine and the Filipino people thank you very much hi everyone uh, uh, this time my message is not uh, for president mr. president Duterte uh, my message this time is uh, for the Filipino people First of all, uh, thank you very much for the positive input that you give me on my videos and thank you for everyone who shared my video uh, or left a good comments and even for the people who criticized me or left bad comments uh, thank you also because uh, uh, it gave me idea about uh, how many supporters and how many uh, non-supporters to the president and thank God that uh, it like you can say 90, 95%, more than 95% pos, pos, uh, positive input and only less than 5% is uh, uh, negative input. So thank God for this, that most of the people is with the president. And uh, for you people who are supporting the president, I just uh, um, my advice to you is uh, first of all, give him more time uh, because uh, uh, some, of, some of you uh, sometimes uh, will feel frustrated, you know, because uh, he need the change to become fast. You know, this is a long process, and don't forget that uh, Philippines is uh, having corruption for how many years now, 
and it's a long time in corruption so it, it will take uh, take him more time to clean this corruption and to get rid of criminals and drug dealers so just be patient and give him more time and uh, for for the supporters also my message is uh, uh, not only giving him more time just be positive in yourself and your way of life uh, because uh, the president cannot do any uh, everything alone you know he 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 need to do it with you not alone because alone he cannot do it alone because it's a teamwork you know and uh, just be positive in all all the ways of your life uh, be a smart consumer uh, don't don't open the light during the daytime just use the light of the sun to light your house uh, because uh, you will ask me how how it will affect uh, your country how it will affect your economy of course it will affect because if you open the light during daytime you will put more load on the electricity grid of the whole Philippines and while there is uh, other places more important need the electricity even on daytime they cannot use the sunlight they to, to operate you know like army camps like uh, like uh, hospitals like factories so just be a, a smart consumer because if you all do this it will it, it will eventually eventually it will uh, support your economy somehow so just be more positive just be more uh, 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 smart and uh, you will see the, the difference uh, in a few months believe me uh, but you must start with yourself don't expect the country to change and you are the same you must change yourself also uh, and for the people who hate the president, I'm telling you the same also advice, just give him more time, because if you hate his ways, just give him a chance, give him a chance to see the result. If you don't like what you see, then criticize him, don't criticize him from the beginning, because if you do this, it's either you are a drug user or drug dealer, or you are corrupted, that's why you don't like him. And in that case, I advise you to follow the right path, because God is not supporting this way of life. God is not uh, supporting the drug dealers or he doesn't like the drug users or he doesn't like the corrupted people. So just not, not for uh, Duterte's uh, sake or not for uh, the Philippines' sake, for your own sake. Risk yourself first and then criticize later. I think uh, that's all. Uh, thank you very much again once again for watching my videos and uh, thank you for all your support and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.